Authorities announced this afternoon that the man wanted in the death of an America's police officer and for critically wounding another is dead. Uh, good evening. I'm Russ Spencer. And I'm Elise Seedy in for Sine Simpson. Police say 32 year old Manquel Limbra committed suicide and they found his body inside of a house in Americas. We have team coverage on this story. Let's start with Fox 5's Nathalie Pozo, who's followed the story for us all day, and she joins us now with the latest. Nathalie? Well, this is where it all went down. We're on Allen Street in America. As you can actually see, we still have law enforcement officers working the scene here at the end of Allen Street. Now, police say it was a man that called in the tip saying Lembrick was at his home and he was able to call in when the time was right, when he had a moment when Lembrick wasn't watching. That's what led several police agencies down on this street and eventually led to this manhunt being over. Heavy police presence, roads closed, and officers armed. Police surrounded this neighborhood on Allen Street after deputies say Minquel Lembrick came to a home of someone he knew, and that person called police. The uh, caller actually knew the gentleman and uh, was there when he came to the house. Federal, state, and local law enforcement officers swarmed the area. America's police chief Mark Scott says as officers set up a perimeter, they heard what sounded like a gunshot inside the home. FBI hostage negotiators tried to get a response but never did. When the SWAT team, SWAT team made entry, uh, they found one suspect inside who was deceased from what appeared to be a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Neighbors were escorted out as officers moved in. The GBI director says Lembrick was a dangerous man, convicted felon with a criminal history record 32 pages long. He was a convicted felon in a possession of a firearm and he wreaked havoc on this community. And law enforcement officers performing their duty have died and are fighting for their lives. Several local agencies contributing to the reward that went up from 20 to 50 to $70,000. Officers say the person who led police to Lembrick will be eligible for the reward. This law enforcement agency and the men and women in this community can now go forward with healing. And now police say that they do not believe Lembrick was at this home the entire time, making it very clear that the person who called in the tip was not aiding him. Now, officials say there were some comments posted on Lembrick's Facebook page. One of those included, quote, other life gone, not going to jail. And the last message posted on his Facebook page, love y'all. That's the very latest here in America. It's Nathalie Pozo, Fox 5 News. There's been a lot of posts on social media of support. Um, it's been very clear from the beginning, from all the posts that people have, have been able to find on, on Facebook. Uh, Nick and Jody were very close friends. They've been friends since high school. They went to the police academy together. They graduated police academy together. Uh, they initially worked together. Uh, their career paths took them in different directions. Uh, their career paths brought them back into the same town of Americas. As you can imagine, this shooting has rocked the small town of Americus. The manhunt may be over, but the shock continues over the loss of those two officers who were very close friends for years. Today, we're learning more about the relationship between the two, and many in the community knew these two young officers. Now, Christy Hutchings with News Radio 1067 has been in the community all day. She continues our team coverage now. Christy, what are people in America saying? I can tell you that the two officers are described as two peas in a pond. They were actually grew up together, lifelong friends. And the people here tell me that Officer Smart's sister is actually engaged to Officer Smith, who is fighting for his life. And everything that everyone has had to say about these officers is that these are two stand up guys. Inside the public safety building is a small tribute for Officer Smar and Smith and a sign that says back the blue. The two men pictured here are more than colleagues but lifelong friends. I mean, they were two peas in the pod and you couldn't separate them. Samaj Wood knew the officers. Over at Bittersweet Books and Coffee where he works is a big blue bow and a message out front, back the blue. I just wanted everybody to know that uh, we care about uh, the officers that you know were harmed in that incident and that they meant more to us than just being officers and that we do have the back to all the other officers and uh, law enforcement in our area. It just it just really gets to you. Megan Gottley works across the street at City Grill. This heads close to home for her. her 
her boyfriend is a police officer. My heart just broke. She says she didn't know Officer Smar, but Officer Smith often came in the restaurant. He was so full of life and he just had the best smile and you knew when Jody was coming because everybody would get excited. I'm also told that these officers truly cared about this community and this community plans on rallying around all of the law enforcement officers here and they say they will continue to pray for officer Jody Smith. Live in America's tonight, Christy Hutchings, News Radio 1067 for Fox 5 News. Christy, thank you. Brent.